It's actually time for Sherlin Bands. Hot chuckies. Sherlin Bands here. As I've promised, I'm going to do my newest Snapchat Q&A. I go on my Snapchat site. I say, ask me some questions. I did pre-record them because I did ask for them a while ago. But I'm going to answer them now. I don't know how long it's going to be. There could be two videos out of this. There could be three videos. There might be fucking one video. I don't know. I'll let you know at the end if there's going to be more. So let's not fuck around. Let's just get right into it. <laughs> This bitch is full of shit. No, she did not put me into docks. She didn't put me into docks anyway because I've never been in trouble with docks. But I don't know who this bitch is. And also, she acts like her shit don't fucking stink. There's nothing wrong with no name butter. Because do you know what? It's just as good and it's made at the same place. And if I was to get this bitch and tie her up to a chair and get like um the salada bickies and put, you know, one with no name butter and then one with the deer butter on it and fucking forced her to eat it, she would not know the difference, I promise you. And, you know, let me know in the comments, is there anything wrong with a no name butter or is, you know, big deal. It's just no name butter, big deal. Let me know in the comments. Hey, Shiz. Hello. It's Brian here. <laughs> Hello. Just wondering how Terry is. And if you're still rooting the neighbour. <laughs> Pussy kisses. If you're going to be a fucking smart ass, I'm not going to answer the questions and don't you dare say pussy kiss at the end of it after you've been a prick to me because I invented saying pussy kiss. So fuck off. I don't give a shit. Plain and simple fuck off. End of. Hello. I'm state of the art technology. And captivating performance. Fucking hell. I don't do it again. If you're going to have a cat, don't torment and scare it. You did the finger trick once and you saw it didn't like it, so you shouldn't do it twice. Whoever that was, idiot. All right, here's the next one. Hey, Sherlyn, I'm asking you a question. Mm -hmm. If there was one woman singer that you can just wipe out of, you know, the industry, who would it be? Like any famous singer, you can just, they're out, who would it be? Love you, Shez. Love you as well. Easy question. See ya. Fuck her off. I don't want to see ya. <laughs> I don't want to see ya. <laughs> if you could have an affair with one boy on this planet and Terry would never find out, who would it be, Shez? Let us all know. I'd have an affair with him. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. I'll pick someone normal. Um, there's this bloke what's on my Instagram site and his name is The Alaskan Thor. Absolutely fucking gorgeous. He's got this gorgeous, thick, succulent, juicy body. But, you know, I've sent him messages. I've commented on his pics. I like all his pics, but um, he's not... He doesn't answer me. I don't know if he can't see it or he's ignoring me, but... So, if you see this... Uh, please reach out, inbox me, send me pics, whatever, you know, you don't even have to send me pics. We can just get to know each other. If it was a perfect world and I could do whatever the fuck I want to any bastard what I want, it would be him. Let's have a look at him. So no bastard can tell me I have bad taste, but yeah, he's nummies. Actually, maybe you lot get on Instagram and go and, you know, comment and message him and tell him to, to reach out to me. Hi, Chucky. I was wondering if you'd want to say hi to one of my friends, Swade. No. Like Fuck off. No. Hey, Sharon. How do you stop smoking the e-cigarettes? Would you ever buy a vape? 
<laughs> oh, the fucking filter on it. It looks like a junkie, it does. Thank you for your question. And the answer is yes. I want to start vaping, but it's getting harder and harder to buy the little e cigs when I smoke. With the vape, there's just so much out there. I don't know what the fuck to get. I don't know what's the best, what's the shittest. So could you lot let me know in the comments, say what you like, what you don't like, or, you know, if you're a big company and you want to send me some free stuff, um, let me know. Hi, Shannon. How are you? I just want to know what your favourite season was. If it was summer, autumn, spring or winter. Boring. Who <laughs> cares? Only just saw your snap shares, but um, are you moist? Oh, you fucking know I am. <laughs> Hi, shares. Just want to know: Do you still keep in contact with Arnie Barb, and is she still as savage as ever? Love you. No, she's dead. Hi, Sharon. It's my, it's me. Um, just letting you know that I also have anxious attacks, um, and I also got a heart murmur as well. Um, but I've probably got it a lot worse than what you've got because I've actually been suffering for a lot longer than what you have. Um, yeah. Thank you, coaches. Bye-bye. Well, I doubt you've been suffering it longer than I have because I was fucking born with two holes in my heart. So you just made a fool of yourself. I hope you're proud. Sherilyn, I want to know who are your top three gorgeous gay guys? Ooh. One, Joel Crazy. He's my best friend and he's a gay guy. I love him. He loves me. Best friends. Two, Sam Sparrow. He is an Aussie gay guy what lives in America. And just looking at him, he looks like a normal white boy. But his singing voice actually sounds like it's a black man. So, you know. And three, Anthony Calera. Uh, hello, Sherilyn. Uh, greetings from Perth. Oh, I just wanted to know what is the best part of Sydney because it is the best city in Australia, boy far. And the best part would have to be um, the the Sydney guys. They're very gorgeous. Um, and, you know, a lot of people say the gay guys from Sydney, they're shallow and they're cruel and they only care about themselves and how they look and how much money they have and they all look the same and they don't have ugly friends and they're all, you know, obsessed with themselves. And I just think... You know, so what? So what? Because at the end of the day, love is love. You know, equality. Shares, I'm just wondering why you're such a fat coat. Snapchat warrior. Um, can you sit on my face? Please. Well, since you said please. <laughs> no. Get out of it. So, do you think Michael Jackson... Is a kitty fucker. Pussy kisses. It's very easy to watch a TV show that goes for a couple of hours of people they've never met making all these claims about someone else what they've never met. You know, with all the little details and everyone backing up their little stories and, you know, putting on the waterworks and all of that. But at the same time, like, fucking look at him. He's scary. So I don't know. I do not know. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments. He says, just let me know if Terry's going to be coming around soon to moisten up my gooch. Pussy kiss. Fucking slut. Fuck off. He's normal. Don't do that stuff, please. There's fucking fake Sheeran Vans tweet sites. All I want is the tip so everyone knows I'm in the real world. Smart, Shez. He's fucking ignore me. He told me ignore me. I watch you every night. I've had a gap full of it, so. I love you, Shez. I love you as well. Um... Inbox me. Beautiful boy. Uh, hello, Shiz. Hello. Oh, it's Tash and Amira here. Hi, girls. Uh, we're currently in English class and we just saw your Q&A and we really like to be featured on it. You beautiful, beautiful woman. Anyway, our question for today is how did your granddaughter, Deb's raised daughter, get taken from her? Um, was it too many late nights out with the girls? Too much partying? Too much drinking at night? And yeah, we'd really like to know. Um, sorry girls, um, that's not my business. Um, that is between my daughter and my granddaughter. Yes, I do have grandparents' rights. You know, but a lot of people have been giving me shit and saying, why didn't you take Shakira? Why aren't you raising Shakira? 
But as far as I'm concerned, I raised my daughter, I did my job, and it is not my fault or my responsibility if Desiree and Nathan didn't want to do their job. And certain dog neighbours want to get the law involved, so then, you know, docs, they don't know what they're doing. They want to harass a perfectly happy family. No one's perfect. I'm not saying my daughter is the perfect mother. Obviously, she's not. We were a happy family. And on the same token, fucking... You know, fuck it, I'm saying it. a bit over that way. There's this girl what I know called Cherelle, and she's letting drug dealers sleep under the same roof as her kids. He's selling ice. You know, he locks the kids up in the fucking bedroom. Apparently they have tea, and then he locks them up in the bedroom for the rest of the night. There's a lock on the outside of the door. If they want to do a wee or a poo, they have to knock on the door. He lets them out. They do their business. He puts them back in. He doesn't let them back out until the morning. That's cruel. And what I want to know is why docs are knocking on our fucking door, and that shit goes unnoticed. I'm not going to get into the ins and outs of my daughter's business, but when it comes to docs, you need to fucking ask them because I've got no fucking idea what they're doing. As far as I'm concerned, they're a bunch of fucking scumbags, ruining good families and fucking ignoring the bad ones. It's fucked. I just want to like, just put it out there and ask, like, does sweet old Cheryl and Barnes have any fetishes? I've said it a few times and I've really thought about it, but the answer never changes. I love nipples. <laughs> I love men's nipples. They're just so much better than girls' nipples, and that's why I love that boys get to show them off. Imagine if the guys got deleted on Instagram when they show their nipples. It would be boring, but I love nipples. I love dark nipples. I love light pink nipples. I love just men's nipples. I'm absolute. That's my fetish. Hi, Sherilyn. Where about do you live in Australia? Because I actually live in Sydney, so if you live near, I should see you one day, who knows? I live in Bradbury, inside Campbelltown, and that's inside Sydney, so we could be neighbours, you never know. Hey, Shaz, got a question for you. Um, what would you do if you found out your granddaughter Shakira was living with a pedophile? <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Fuck me, dead Saxon, you are a handful. No one docks. It wouldn't surprise me. Now, I shouldn't say that, but I would tell Nathan, Shakira's father, and he'd probably tell his friends, and we'd all go around there. We'd have some of us out the front, some of us out the back, and we would we'd make a mess. Have you seen a movie what's called Snowtown? It'd be something like that. Hi, Chuck. Carlito, your favourite here. I like all So, shares. I'm a normal guy. What would you do if your gay son, on his 23rd birthday, went up to you and said, Look, Chez, Mum, I'm actually turning normal. I no longer want to be gay. I want to be a normal guy. What would you do, Chez? How would you react? Um, thank you. What an excellent question. I'd say, with all due respect for your own good, I don't think you're normal. I really don't. You told me you're a gay guy, so you are a gay guy, plain and simple. Right, so I'm going to stop it there, but the next YouTube, what I do, will be part two. Let's leave it at that. You can actually add me on my Facebook site, www.facebook.com slash Sherilyn Barnes are you, for Australia. Add me on my Instagram site as well, at Sherilyn Barnes. Yeah, let's leave it at that. Pussy kiss. And ciao for now, my chuckies.